After finishing a decorated swimming career at Ohio State last year that included eight school records, a Big Ten championship, and multiple All-American honors, former Ohio State women's swimmer Samantha Sharpton decided to keep training with the OSU team in order to prepare for the Canadian Olympic trials for the next year. That decision paid off as Sharpton qualified for Canada in the 200-meter freestyle and 400-800 meter freestyle relays at those trials this past March. She is still training with the team as she now prepares for the London Summer Olympics that will start in late July. It's hard to choose what I'm most excited for for the Olympics. I mean, every aspect when it comes to just even like being in the village and just being surrounded by so many other athletes of different sports, um, to the actual meet itself, to just everything. I don't know, it's going to be overwhelming. The decision to keep training with the OSU team and work on a second degree in human development and family studies this past year over returning back to Canada to train individually played a big role in her making the Olympic team. It's hard to train by yourself, to you know motivate yourself every day, being alone, individual. When you're with a team, you like you know come together, push each other. It's it's kind of hard to describe, but you really do need a team and teammates. So it's kind of a no-brainer to keep training with my team. With Sam, because her success is, has happened in, in a relatively short amount of time and has, has been a, a pretty steep rate of improvement, uh, it, came, it came on everybody pretty quickly. And so one of the things that, that we talked about a year ago, she finished uh, you know, her undergraduate career one year ago, was, was the idea that I'm not sure you really want to change things 12 months out of the Olympics. And, and in retrospect, it was a good decision. One teammate in particular has helped push Sheraton in the past year. Kelly Nelson swam for Dorncock when he coached at Penn State and is now a volunteer assistant coach for OSU while preparing for the U.S. Olympic trials at the end of June. Sheraton attributes her success at the Canadian trials in large part to having Nelson as a training partner. She's insane. She's like a crazy trainer and she pushes me so much. Like, you know, after I made the team, you know, I definitely had to thank her for pushing me every day in practice because. You know, without her, I don't know if I would have made the team. I've been to U.S. trials in 2004 and 2008, and so like I've seen people make the team and stuff, but to actually know someone and to be with someone that I've trained with every day and make it, it's, it's really cool. Sheraton will continue training with the team until the end of June, when Nelson and several other teammates will compete at the U.S. Olympic trials. At that point, she will go home for a couple of weeks before leaving for a final team camp with Canada in Sardinia, Italy. Then. Four days before the torch is lit, the Canadian national team will arrive at its final destination of London. It will be there that Sheraton will focus not on placement, but instead on improvement. My goal was to make the Olympic team, and that was the goal. But now that I've done that, like it doesn't stop there. Now it's like, okay, what can I do to improve on what I've just done and do better? So, you know, I don't think I'm going to focus too much on place-wise because you never know what other people are going to do, but if I could improve my own personal best time, that's definitely a goal. Whether Sheraton wins a medal or exits after the first heat, she is still just a 23-year-old first-time Olympian excited to be a part of the Olympics. People are like, oh, like, what are you training for? And it's like, the Olympics. Like, you know, it's like, especially for swimming, you know, or sports where, you know, you don't go really pro or anything like that. Like, the Olympics is it.